Ex-prisoners and the families of people serving long sentences gathered on the state capitol lawn today with one goal in mind. And that is helping people take care of their loved ones behind bars. Nate Salazar spoke with organizers on how they plan to do it, and he's here for you now with more. Sherry, Siobhan, they're trying to make it easier for people to report misconduct and poor living conditions in Michigan's prisons. Many share their personal stories, but made sure that they were loud enough to be heard. Men and women on the inside, they need mental health services and they need it now. Uh, we're keeping folks locked up for an indefinite period of time, and we're not reviewing them after 5, 10, 15, 20 years to see what progress have they made. Araceli Hernandez says her husband, Rolando, has been in prison for 25 years and has at least that many more ahead. She says despite his community involvement in Road to Recovery, his sentence has not been reviewed. Hernandez and many others shared their stories with lawmakers today. There's a need for culture shift inside of our prisons. There is a need for transparency, accountability, and oversight. Officials with the group Citizens Demand Prison Reform are pushing for House members to vote on Senate Bill 493, which would allow prisoners' family members to submit complaints to the Office of Corrections and allow them to open investigations into potential misconduct. The group has even set up a model solitary cell, so community members and lawmakers can step in and see what it's like on the inside to experience the conditions that they say many are currently living in. A greater um, view of what types of problems exist per prison. The proposed bill was passed by the Senate and is awaiting a full House vote. This type of check on the Michigan Department of Corrections is something Hernandez tells me should have already been in place. They are going to need our support. And so it's very important to have transparency, integrity. These folks are deserving of a second opportunity. Well, 6 News has reached out to the Department of Corrections for comment, but they have yet to get back with us. The group is also working on two other bills to help protect inmates' family visits and challenge the idea of solitary confinement. Sharon Siobhan.